Okay, in this video we're going to talk briefly about strumming. We're just going to go over the basic principles of strumming and how best to get the most out of it when you're playing. I should point out at this point, if you're strumming on an electric compared to acoustic, your techniques will be slightly different, but we will cover the basics for now. First things first, if you're using a plectrum, then I highly recommend you hold the pe plectrum firmly, but with a relaxed hand. If you hold it too tight, you get a really harsh loud noise when you strum. And the plectrum, as you can hear, snaps on the strings. Okay, That reduces our chance to control the dynamics. And dynamics is important for all instruments. Second point, when you strum down the way, you want to angle your plectrum slightly with the tip pointing up. So that when you strum down, you're brushing the tip. See if I can show you here. You're brushing the tip or the edge over the strings, not digging in at a 90 degree angle like that. So it's a slight brush across the strings. And you can change that coming up the way too. So you're down, you will point the plectrum slightly up the way. When you're strumming up the way, you'll point it slightly down the way. This is where having a nice relaxed hand will really help with that type of technique. The next point I want to show on strumming is, depending on the chord that you strum, you may have to start from a specific string. I give you the best example of that. When I strum an E major chord, which is this shape here, I strum across all six strings from the low E to the high E. If I'm strumming up the way, all strings again. If I'm strumming an A chord, there we go, that shape there, I strum from the A string down, so I don't play the E string. It's important that you notice these things when you learn a chord. The diagram, the tab or the music will tell you specifically which notes are in it. It won't necessarily tell you which notes not to use. So I suggest you use a combination of chord diagrams, tab, and standard notation to help you decide which one is the best thing to do. The last thing on strumming, and I think this is probably a big one to help with practice, is to do what we call scratching, or in the Americans we call it chucking, which in this country means puking, so we're going to stick with scratching. What you want to do is take your left hand and just take the fingers and gently rest them on the, the strings. We're not pushing down on the strings, we're just resting the fingers lightly there. That way, when we strum down, we get a strange scratching noise, a percussive noise. This is a great way to practice any kind of strum pattern that you may have for a particular song or piece of music. The reason why we do this is, by not having anything happening with the left hand, we can focus entirely on what's happening with the right hand, the strumming hand. And that's it for the basics of strumming.